You can't see it when you look at him, and at the moment you can't hear it in his voice, but Ben's brain is changing. He was diagnosed with Parkinson's at the age of 30. That was five years ago. Life's already a little tougher. The small things in life that you take, everyone takes for granted that people with Parkinson's struggle to do. Just ironing my shirts when you, know, you have a pile of iron in the, in the corner of the kitchen and stuff, and it used to take me 20 minutes to do 10 shirts, and now it takes me 20 minutes to do two shirts. Ben got married just before his diagnosis, and he's got two children. If you think about it too long, and too much, you literally lock yourself in the house and sit in the corner and wait for it to take over. As a dad, what does that mean then? It, it's, it's incredibly scary, um, knowing that my kids potentially will not have the father they, they should have and deserve. Um, but at the same time, I have to enjoy them now and make sure they've got good memories about their dad when they were, when they were kids. Parkinson's disease affects about one in 500 people in the UK. It causes the loss of nerve cells in the brain. People who have it experience tremors, rigid muscles and sometimes depression. But scientists don't know what causes Parkinson's and there is, as yet, no cure for it. 127,000 people in the UK have got Parkinson's. The challenge for science has always been finding out who will get Parkinson's. At the moment, the best test is simply showing the symptoms. What researchers in Edinburgh have now found is a particular protein that we all have in our brains but that behaves differently in the brains of people with Parkinson's. You can see the protein here in red. It's called alpha-synuclein. In Parkinson's sufferers, it develops into sticky clumps. So testing that stickiness could reveal the disease before symptoms show. The results look very exciting um, and we hope that this will turn into some sort of diagnostic test in the future. And that obviously has big implications for people who need to be diagnosed um, so they don't have to wait too long, but also in the development of new treatments that may in the future be able to slow down the progression of Parkinson's. Stepping into an uncertain future hasn't been easy for Ben and his family. For him, Parkinson's has brought depression as well as physical changes. But today's news has left him optimistic that soon other people's journey will be easier. Dominic Reynolds, 5 News.